This is a grasshopper. Oh, that's not right. I thought this was a grasshopper, but I was wrong. This is not a grasshopper. It's something else. A cricket. Crickets and grasshoppers are two different things. But what's the difference? Ah, okay. So for one thing, crickets and grasshoppers sound very different. Crickets have a high-pitched chirp. Grasshoppers sound a lot raspier. But what about this sound? Is this a cricket or a grasshopper? It's actually neither. It's a third insect that looks similar, called a katydid. Katydids make those loud drones you hear in the summer, and they all make noises by rubbing their legs together. Or apparently not. They don't rub their legs together. Let's see here, okay, I got it. Watch this cricket very closely. Did you see that? It's moving its wings together to make noise? Well, how does that work? Well, katydids and crickets both make sounds in this same way. Take a close look at the underside of this katydid's front wing, right here. Do you see that tiny dark line that goes up and down? This is called the file. Here's what it looks like close up. It has a bunch of ridges on it. Think of this file as kind of like a gyro, a Latin percussion instrument with a bunch of ridges on it. When crickets and katydids chirp, they're scraping the file on one wing against a hard edge of the other wing. That's how crickets and katydids make noise, but not grasshoppers. They're a little different. Instead of on their wings, they have a bunch of ridges on the inside of their upper legs that they rub against this vein on their wings. That's how grasshoppers chirp. A chorus of summer sounds, and one thing all of these have in common is they don't have ears on their heads. Well, how do they hear then? Well, they all have ears somewhere else. Look at this katydid's front leg, specifically right below its knee. Here's a better view. Do you see that small circle? This is the katydid's ear. The surface of it is the eardrum. Katydids and crickets both hear through ears on their legs. Grasshopper ears are somewhere else. They're on the grasshopper's side, right above their second set of legs. Their ears might be in different places, but all of these insects have those giant back legs that they use to jump. What? Oh, okay. Well, how about that? There's something else that they use their legs for. Watch closely. Oh, it looks like this katydid 
is going to the bathroom. <gasps> did you see that? The Katie did used its giant leg to just boot its poop away. Huh. Well, this isn't the strangest thing I've seen when it comes to these insects. Let me go into the collection at the Chicago Academy of Sciences and pick out some of the strangest crickets and grasshoppers for us to take a closer look. Lubber grasshoppers are giant and have very interesting patterns. Mole crickets are these strange crickets with weird mole hands to help them dig. Coneheads are katydids with weird pointy heads. Weedas are crickets that are massive. Some have giant spikes on their legs or huge jaws for biting. These lubber grasshoppers are jet black, but they hold a secret. Pink wings. Grasshopper wings can be pink, black and yellow, orange like a sunset, patterned like they were painted, or even rainbow. Oof, here's a problem. I need to put these specimens away in the correct order, but I forgot what that order is. Luckily, I wrote down some clues to help us sort things out. Can you figure out what order these specimens go in? I'll give you the answer soon, so take your time. This is a puzzle that I recently solved on one of my favorite websites, Brilliant.org. To put it simply, Brilliant.org is a website with a bunch of science courses based around interactive word problems. If you're kind of a nerd like me, you're probably going to love it. Whether you're learning how to code for your job or, like me, looking for a fun way to combat brain fog, Brilliant can help you achieve your goals while having fun. So if you'd like to try Brilliant out totally for free, go to brilliant.org slash odd animal specimens, or click the link in the description. And the first 200 of you that click that link will get 20% off their annual subscription. Only the first 200 of you. So be sure to give it a click. Ready for the answer? Here it is. Did you get it right? 